animation is said to be the illusion of life. Hey everybody, I'm Justin Lupica from BlenderAnimationTutorials.com and today we will be learning one of the most essential skills to creating believable artificial life within Blender, the not so simple walk cycle. No, that's right, it's not very simple and in fact it looks much easier than it actually is. That's why I would suggest opening Blender and actually following along with this tutorial. Now, to a beginner animator, this task of creating a good looking walk cycle can seem very daunting and challenging. So I'm going to break this down into two different categories. Number one, we will be talking about what the most important things to keep in mind while animating the walk cycle. And two, how the walk cycle can be broken down into four separate static poses that we can keyframe in Blender and when played back, they create a very nice looking walk cycle. So let's jump into it. Now. Let's talk about what you need to keep in mind when doing this animation. First thing would be hip rotation. You absolutely cannot forget to rotate the hips as the body walks. The hips are important because it lets your character have secondary action, which in this case, your feet are leading the walk, and that would be your primary action. Then following the foot would be your legs and your hips, then the upper body. So without you rotating the hips to follow the feet, you get less, if any at all, secondary action. This will make your walk very stiff, boring, and frankly, very ugly to look at. Secondary action is so important to animation that it's actually one of the 12 principles of animation. So please don't forget this. Other examples of secondary action within this walk would also be within the arms. As the shoulders rotate opposite to the hips, this is called counter pose, then the upper arm follows just behind the shoulder, and the forearm swings slightly after the upper arm. You could even take this one step farther and have the hand follow behind the forearm. Remember, there is a quote within the wonderful world of animation that says, animation is all about timing. This is very important to keep in mind. And speaking of quotes, there is also another one us animators use that goes, you need to feel it more than you see it. So next time you think you don't need to include one of the subtleties, such as secondary actions of the body parts, think again. But Justin, you can't even see it in the animation. What's the point of me putting it in there? Well, you need to feel it more than you see it. This doesn't mean go all out and spend 30 hours putting every single thing you could imagine into a walk cycle, especially if you're working for a client. A good animator knows what he needs to include for them to feel it and what he can get away with not doing. This skill comes with experience, so don't feel bad if you don't have this just yet. Just keep working at it and you'll get there. But there's one more thing that you need to keep in mind while working on this. Weight. Everything has weight, and unless your animation is going to be in space, your character needs weight. This is most evident in the recoil pose, which we will be covering shortly. So for now, just remember the three things we've talked about. Hip rotation, and if you need to listen to some Elvis to remember this, go ahead. I'm not judging. Secondary action, and weight. Alright, so let's start breaking down this walk cycle into the four different poses. Number one, contact pose. This is the most important pose, and you need to get this correct, as the rig is at its most extreme point in this pose. This pose is where the leading foot is getting ready to make contact with the ground, and the trailing foot is getting ready to leave the ground. The leading foot's toes should be pointed upwards, as the heel should always strike the ground first. The opposite is true for the trailing foot. The heel should leave the ground first, and then the toes should be bent, getting ready to leave the ground in this pose. The hips should also be rotated to align with the feet, the arm should of course also be counterposed to the feet, meaning that when the left foot is forward, the left arm is back. This is nature's way of keeping everything in balance. Here's what the final contact pose should look like. Number two, recoil pose. This should be your second pose, and this is where the leading foot is flat and making contact with the ground, and the trailing foot lifts completely into the air, still bent with the toes facing down. The hips should also be brought down in this position, as this helps add a sense of weight to the character. The two feet have just traded off the weight of the body, so the leading foot now has to catch the weight of the body from falling, and this is why the hips dip down during a walk. The arms are not much different than the, in the contact pose, as physics would dictate that any object swinging would hover slightly at the peak of the movement. This is what's happening to the arms. They have momentum carrying them forward up until this point, 
when the arms will hover at its most extreme point of the swing to slow down momentum and start backtracking. I would not recommend keeping the arms in the same position as they were in the contact pose. You should give them at least some slight variation. This goes back to the whole feel it more than you see it type thing. And if you don't slightly move them, the viewer will be able to feel it all right, and it won't be ooey gooey and fuzzy warmy types of feelings either. The recoil pose should look something like this. Now we're almost done, I promise. Hang in there. Number three should be the passing pose. This is where the body is most aligned through the whole walk. As the name would indicate, everything is passing each other. The trailing foot is about to pass the leading foot to take its place, and the foot should be bent downward in this pose when the knee and foot is slightly higher than it was in the previous pose. Both arms are passing each other near the torso and the hips are starting to rise again as the foot that is bearing all the weight is becoming centered directly underneath. This allows the leg to straighten out and help push the body upwards. The hips should also have no rotation in this pose. They should be completely square with the shoulders. This should be what it looks like when it's done. Number four, last but not least, is the high point pose. This is where the character is at its highest point. The leg that is supporting the weight should be at its most extended point. The arms are also starting to get back into the swing of things. <laughs> See what I did there? And the hips should also start rotating with the feet again. This is what the final pose should look like. Congratulations, you are now well on your way to creating good looking walk cycles and beefing up those portfolios of yours. Now before you go, I have some homework for you. I want you guys to keep this video as reference and create a walk cycle of your own. Post me links in the comments and let's get creating awesome stuff together. If you found this video helpful, don't forget I have a way you can give back. If you go to this post on blenderanimationtutorials.com, I have a pay what you want option. Click on the buy this tutorial button above the video on the site and you can give back however much you feel comfortable with. That's right, you get to choose the price. So whether you want to treat me to a nice cup of coffee for $5, a nice steak dinner for $20, or anything in between, including taking it for free, it's completely up to you. Keep in mind, I'm not a huge corporation, I'm just some dude who likes Blender and thought it would be cool to help share the animated love. These tutorials come straight out of my pocket for you guys and every little bit helps me create more tutorials. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel on YouTube and hit the thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks for watching everyone, I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to do your homework and I will see you in the comments section.